Hello my friends, John LaRuffa here with another Unbiased Unboxing, and in this episode we're going to be taking a look at a little bit of an older game, but new to me, Freshwater Fly. All right, very thematic looking box. Uh, let's see what we got when we crack this bad boy open. And again folks, please like and subscribe to my YouTube channel as it helps me grow my fan base. All right. I like the fact, as I always say, that you can see the game in play on the back, which is nice. That's good news. Got the contents on there also listed on the back, so that can help in case there's any, uh, you know, concerns of lost pieces or missing components or anything like that out of the box, which is good. All right. As I said, this is an older game. Been out for a couple years, but I am just new to acquire it, so maybe you've seen this before, but if not, well... First time for everything. Okay, so taking a quick look, looks like they've got a little plug in here for some of their other games. Then we've got the rule book here, which I've heard is maybe unnecessarily long compared to the ease of play, but that's okay. I mean, when it comes down to it, if there's just more examples and things, and I'd rather them do a good job of explaining what's going on versus, um, you know, leaving things to the question. And I do like that there's a little solo adventure mode, which is really cool. So I can't wait to give that a try. That's awesome that they have, you know, that in play here. It's not just a beat your own score. It's an actual, you know, actual solo game. So that's cool. All right, a little campaign. So component wise, we've got some medium thickness cardboard here. Your first set of punch outs. I do like the thematic art. Illustrations look good. Here comes our board now. We get the sense it's a double-sided board, one that does have some pre-printed uh, rocks in place right here, which can provide some bonuses, but it also has this other one where you can put the rock cards down, as I saw that. It looks quite nice, functional and all that. All right, then we've got our components. This by far, and I've unboxed a lot of games, is the largest piece of wood I've seen in a game that at least has a cylinder shape. So that's pretty big right there. That's for telling us which, uh, you know, which fish you're trying to catch. The rest of the com components are standard cylinders. Wood pieces like that look just fine. Then we've got our dice. They're yellow plastic, decent heft to them, uh, routed edges. So that'll be just uh, no real problems there. Should roll just fine. We've got a nice cloth bag here. Has a nice smooth, it's almost like a felt kind of feel to it. That's pretty high quality. Then we've got our uh, real game boards. So these, kind of the situation of the game where you're, you know, you're reeling in fish, which I think is really cool. Um, single sided, but each of the boards is slightly different. Like this is a 1A board here. And then there is the 2A over here. And then you have the 3B and the 4B. Now, I don't know exactly what's different. I guess these things are different down here. Because I'm noticing there's different scoring um, things. And maybe that's just for the solo player game. Kind of changes things up. But that is cool. So these look like they're good quality. Um, this seems like it's, it's a smidge, you know, on the... It's, it's a little loose, but you're going to be... I mean, it lays flat. So it's not like you need to move it around. So that's okay. It's not loose. It's just not really tight and firm in there. And let's take a look at the cards here and see what kind of quality we have in these decks. Okay. So the, the cards do have a texture on them and they are the, they're pretty thick actually. They're fairly sturdy. So I do know that you're going to do a lot of shuffling of a couple of these cards. I think these four right here. So you're probably going to want to sleeve those because that's uh, that's your catch cards, whether you're going to make a catch or not. But anyway, we've got uh, the different rocks and these rock cards have on the back of them some special abilities here, which change end game bonuses or let you do something special, which is cool. And you get those, I think, by catching fish near them. We've got some player aids over here and then a bunch of our fish. So We'll take a look at these, but you can see the illustrations are pretty good. 
They've got, even though they're the same kind, they've got um, different characteristics here, which is one of the things that attracted me about the game with the solo campaign. Depending on what you catch, you're trying to catch different groups of cars to get medals and upgrade your stuff, which I think is really cool. It gives it a lot of uh, replay value. All right, so we've got definitely different, a couple of different types of fish here, but each of them, you know, I don't think there's a duplicate. They've got different points, different casting values. Here, there's a duplicate, just as I say it. Uh, but you can see lots of different uh, types of fish. All right. So those look good. And then we have maybe things for what's this? Maybe a mini expansion. I'm not sure. So these look like different. Oh, there's more rocks here. Okay. So additional rock cards. And then another set of casting cards there. All right. So that's what we've got. That's what it looks like. I'm uh, pretty impressed about the components. Looks pretty good. Thanks again for watching, everybody. Hope that whatever you play in the future, you have a great time doing it. Take it easy, everybody. Thanks.